gotta focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah Push and pull and... Some time ago, Huawei introduced a new two-in-one tablet called the MatePad Edge. A quick shout out to my tech partner from China for sharing this video. A big thank you for making this possible. Hey everyone, it's Mickey from Tech Makey. If you love staying updated with the latest gadgets, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting tech content. At first glance, it shares the same two-in-one label as Microsoft Surface, but once you look closer, it becomes clear that this isn't just another tablet with a detachable keyboard. The real highlight and what makes it so interesting is that the MatePad Edge can act as a tablet and a desktop system at the same time. On its own, it's a familiar tablet form factor, but once you attach the keyboard, it genuinely behaves like a full computer. That's exactly why it's called the MatePad Edge instead of something like a MacBook Edge. You could even say Huawei has already delivered the kind of changes many people have long wanted Apple to bring to the iPad. What allows the MatePad Edge to pull off this true two-in-one experience in such a slim and lightweight body comes down to solving two major challenges. The first is heat management when running in high-performance mode, which is a core problem for any two-in-one device. The second is how the system handles interaction logic when switching between different modes. People often point out that the iPad Pro can throttle because of heat. So Huawei designing an entirely new chassis for the MatePad Edge makes a lot of sense. With, with a 14-inch display, the body naturally provides more internal space for, for hardware. On the cooling side, Huawei doesn't just rely on a standard VC vapor chamber. The biggest breakthrough is that it manages to fit two flat fans inside the body. Even more impressive, the entire device is under 7 mm thick. Once you account for the back support and the display, there's very little vertical space left. Yet those fans still fit. Thanks to them, the MatePad Edge can use active air cooling, just like a laptop. The densely packed holes on the back of the support serve as air intakes, and through them you can even get a rough idea of where the fans sit and how big they are. The slim horizontal opening at the top of the support works as the exhaust vent. With this cooling setup, the MatePad Edge can already reach a peak performance level of 25 watts. The top tier 32GB plus 2TB night cooling edition goes a step further by adding a micro pump night cooling system. This uses the internal night cooling layer to circulate hot and cold flows boosting performance by an extra 3 watts, bringing the total up to 28 watts. This level of cooling headroom is what truly makes the MatePad Edge a real 2-in-1 device and highlights the advanced engineering behind it. If you look at it purely as a MatePad, it's essentially a very large but completely normal tablet. In tablet mode, it can already handle low power tasks comfortably, which is a noticeable step up compared to traditional Surface devices. With the pen, you can take notes, sketch, and manage documents with ease. Running the mobile version of Silhouette on such a large display also feels much more comfortable. Still, the most striking experience is watching videos. The combination of the huge screen and six speakers delivers an impressive audiovisual experience. The main downside shows up with WeChat on the tablet. Uh, the app simply stretches its phone-style interface across the screen, resulting in poor use of the available display area. If you want the proper dual-pane layout with contacts on one side and chat windows on the other, you need to switch to the desktop version. And that small inconvenience perfectly explains why the Edge's desktop mode exists in the first place. When we use a tablet, the whole idea is to take advantage of the large display to make everything feel more comfortable and efficient. If needed, we can always connect a keyboard and mouse to boost productivity even further. At its core, that means moving closer and closer to a traditional computer experience. But because tablet operating systems have their limits, there are always moments when you really need full desktop software. That's exactly why PC versions of apps like WPS and Silhouette Pro exist on the tablet system. Them. So, once you switch into desktop mode, which you can do with a simple four-finger swipe, you can naturally pair the MatePad Edge with its official floating keyboard and start using it like a proper computer. Of course, external keyboards work just fine too. It's also worth noting that the cooling fans only activate when the stand is opened this day, which can have some impact on overall power consumption. After spending a few days testing it, I found that in PC mode, sharing and switching between tablet apps feels seamless. 
A big reason for this is how well these apps are optimized for large screen layouts. Document management also works smoothly across both modes, with the same structure and a very consistent user experience. Even though Harmony OS still lags far behind Windows and Mac OS when it comes to professional software coverage, it's impressive that, at this early stage, it can already handle many everyday laptop tasks. Basic document editing is covered by the PC version of WPS, and for video editing, there's a professional edition of CED. The interface design and operating logic follow a familiar PC-style approach, and once you add a keyboard and mouse, many common workflows feel natural. On top of that, there's support for other professional tools like Wukong Image Editor and CED. Thanks to the improved cooling system, the device can also take on more demanding workloads with greater confidence. For software that Harmony OS doesn't support directly, you can install a virtual machine as a workaround. However, since everything is still running on an ARM-based architecture, performance does take a hit. On top of that, some applications simply aren't well optimized for Windows on ARM yet, which highlights another major weakness of Harmony OS-based computers. Now let's talk about system interaction, because this is where the MatePad Edge really stands out. The overall design feels very refined. Microsoft has struggled for years to properly balance interaction between different Surface modes. Even though Surface devices support touch input, the logic is still heavily centered around keyboard and mouse use. For example, opening a document still requires a traditional double-click. On the MatePad Edge, the desktop mode interface allows touch and keyboard or mouse input to coexist smoothly. You can open desktop apps or documents with a standard double-click gesture, but a single tap, just like on a tablet, works just as naturally. Swiping through menus or documents feels responsive, and the cursor intelligently hides itself so it doesn't get in the way. It's clear that Harmony OS has put serious effort into optimizing this experience, avoiding the awkward split often seen between tablet and desktop interactions. Overall, the MatePad Edge lives up to my expectations and clearly proves that form factor integration is possible. It works as a compact netbook for media consumption, a three-piece setup for office tasks, and when you remove the keyboard, a comfortable tool for note-taking and drawing. Each form factor fits a different use case. As a complete package, the MatePad Edge delivers a much more comprehensive experience than traditional large screen tablets. For non-professional users, parts of the experience are already on par with thin and light laptops. Looking at the industry as a whole, aside from Apple and Microsoft, Huawei seems to be the only company truly capable of pulling off a complete two-in-one solution. Harmony OS, with its one-to-one -one development and multi-device deployment strategy, feels naturally suited for this kind of product. That said, we also have to be realistic. The Harmony OS computer ecosystem is still in its early days, and the lack of professional software means it can't yet fully handle serious productivity demands. The MatePad Edge's name itself suggests that it sits right on the boundary between tablet and computer, and for now, we're still waiting for what lies beyond that boundary to come into clearer focus.